Hello everyone, welcome to the Cloud Network. In this tutorial, I am going to show you about the how to set up your VPN on Android devices. That is, you want to set up the VPN without software, you can set up this VPN on your any smartphone which supported the OS of Android device. So, how do they set up the VPN without software? Here is the instructions. So if you are thinking about the buying the web hostings from the Blue Ghost or Ghost Data means you can buy any two of these links. So any one of these link. So you need to just click this one link, it will be redirect to your original website. So these two links you can find in my below to my video in the description box. So I will get a small percentage of this one. And uh, you can share this also to your friends. And uh, the VPN allow you to connect your device to, to secure the connection to another network over internet. In fact, you can use it to access your home folder network while you are, you are away for the downloading apps which are not available in your country. Simple kept your browsing data secure over the public network. Here is how you to go to about setting a VPN on your Android device. So here is we are actually the website of OpenVPNNet. This is your uh, you can download OpenVPN for Android. Play Store. Then you can go into the Android Play Store. Just you know to find the Open VPN. So next one images you can see for this year. Uh, you need to download and install. So this means this is a software base. Okay. So you can um, use in Play Store. If you do not want to use without the software means here is your method you can set up the VPN. First you need to go to the menu. On the screen you can see the settings. You need to find the settings on the menu. So here the settings here is there. Once you find the settings, you need to step to is to now click on the more. That means once you find the settings, there you need to click on the VPN. So on the screen you can see the VPN option is there. Then you need to click more. Once you click on the more next to the options of the selecting the VPN, then note will you I will advise readers to change their screen lock over from the slide to pin or the password otherwise they may get error so i must suggest you that you need to set the uh, screen lock with the pin or to your password so do not set the slide okay otherwise maybe get you error so you can see once you click on the more you can find uh, once you click on the vpn you will get the attention you uh, once you click on the vpn you get the attention that you need to set a lock screen pin or the password before you you can use the credential storage so once you need to click ok so after that you can see on the uh, left side of the screen there is the pattern or pin or password so forget about the pattern you need to just select the pin or the password you can select any two one uh, any two one anyone after selecting anyone you need to set the password after selecting the password step 3 is to uh, select the VPN screen like this one will be open up that means once you set the password after that here screen will become um, come up with your VPN you need to click on the plus button once you click on the plus tab button at the right corner of your screen so it will be edit you need to set the VPN so near name you can see on the screen cloud network which I have given instead of cloud network you can give any name after that you can you can give vpn and the type should be, you can keep this is a ppd here that means point to point transfer protocol and then you can give server address also this vpn dot cloud network dot in instead of cloud network that you can give any domain name or any address okay so you can you need to check the ppn encryption if it is unchecked you need to check and you need to skip the options uh, show advanced options okay you can after that you need to click on the save once you save step 5 is here here enter the name for the vpn connections select the type of the vpn server you are connecting to and to enter the vpn server address and then click save. that means after you need to click the save you can on the left side of the screen you can see this will become like this okay like 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 this it will come once you click on the cloud net of vpn it will be having two options like you can edit the profile or delete the profile if you want to change some things means you can change here also by clicking edit profile if you want to delete you can delete if you want to create one more vpn means you need to just click the plus button then you need to add the vpn one more so step six now just add the type on the creative vpn to connect you will be promoted to enter the username and the password once you enter after entering which you will be connected to vpn so once you click on the vpn it's going to be uh, ask the uh, about the connecting vpn that means username and the passwords you need to give this username and the password 
and so and then you need to save the account information after that you need to click on the connect so once you are connected with you will see a key icon or the vpn activate notifications in the notification drawer in case you want to disconnect simply tap on the notification and tap and disconnect it so um, bonus tips is here in case you want to ensure that your data is always sent over a vpn for instance while using public wi-fi network all you need to do is connect to the vpn save your account information then click on this three dots icon on the corner of your screen after that click always on vpn icon to access this feature that means if you want to transfer your data mobile data to your uh, that, uh, that means wi-fi public wi-fi should not be used always use your mobile data network to your vpn means you need to check these options always on vpn on so that's going to be used always mobile data not the vpn it will not use okay so also sometimes sometimes it may be promoted with this that means it may be asked you to enter the credential for the storage password you need to give that pin and the password which i have told you before that you need to give the password after that you can ask sometimes may be asked okay so be be careful because randomly entering the password may cause uh, error, uh, your credential storage to be erased that means if you enter the passwords incorrectly a uh, few times that is going to be erase your uh, credential storage so now there will be absolutely no need to be freak out here is your first tip will come in handy just simply change your pin or the question you will go away as the credential will have been forced to update it so thanks for this watching my video for any clarification you can comment below to my video like us and share my video amongst your friends and relatives help to spread my channel thank you for watching anti-cloud net video please subscribe to cloud net channel